Today we are visiting Helvetia, West Virginia. This town of around 60 people is nestled in the mountains of Randolph County. The mountains surrounding this community help maintain the traditions and customs the original Swiss and German immigrants arrived with in 1869. Several good documentaries can be found. I will put a link to a very informative one that I enjoyed in the comments below. I got in contact using their website, also linked below, and scheduled a walking tour. The walking tour was very informative and definitely worth taking. It's a feel-good experience as the proceeds are used to maintain the historic buildings. The uniqueness of this town is mainly due to the location, being nestled in the valley of some daunting mountainous terrain. Paved roads did not reach here until the 1940s. The center of the community consists of a general store, a public library, post office and church. There is also a great restaurant that I would highly recommend. The church, now a Zion Presbyterian Church, was first constructed in 1822. The chimes from the church can be heard hourly throughout the town. Up until the 1950s, the church had bi-weekly services conducted in the German language. Walking in the building, I was struck by the stained glass windows that ran along the walls. To be in the middle of the Appalachian Mountains and for a moment feel as if you were in old Europe was a welcome disorientation. Located on the edge of center of town, on sloping land was the town cemetery. All land that was flat within this valley was used for settling on or growing food. The slope, which could not be used for either, was used for giving rest to the departed. I was struck by the upkeep and care bestowed upon the gravestones. Many of the markers reached back to the late 1800s, were clean and still readable. Checking the website, I found the weekend after Father's Day is when they have a cemetery decoration event. It is a rare find to find a place where such deliberate actions are taken to honor those that have come before. Leaving the cemetery, I followed the left fork, right fork, Buchanan River, back to the center of town where I grabbed lunch. Sitting on the deck, I could see people going to and fro and hear the river running. The food was homemade and truly wonderful. The best part about being here was that cell service was non-existent. The center of town does have a payphone. Not once during my hours spent walking the tour, going into the general store, or having lunch, did I ever have even a single bar of cell service. I enjoyed experience a bygone era. I recommend visiting this Swiss German town that still has community fairs, ramped suppers, town Thanksgiving dinners, and music festivals. Prepare yourself by getting into your vehicle, gassing it up beforehand, as there are no gas stations in Helvetia, and be sure to tell your loved ones that you are going off the grid for a while. You will see a town that is steeped in Swiss and German traditions, meet wonderful people, learn about history, and appreciate the modern marvels that our society now possesses. If you enjoyed this video, then show it by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below.